Season one is around the corner and you might be asking yourself, well, War, what should I play or what the best class to play is at the start of a brand new season with all of the different characters. So I'm going to dive in. I've made a cool little tier list that I think you guys are going to absolutely love or maybe hate. A lot of you guys didn't like my last tier list with the post nerf and a lot of you guys did. So we're making another tier list on what class you should play or what the best class will be to play at the start of season one in Diablo 4. Let's get right into it. So when it comes to Diablo, a lot of things have been asked about it. Uh, the biggest question that I get all the time is war. Is there going to be any more changes to the classes at the start of the season? So I'm going to preface this. This is where we have to, you know, Jesus take the wheel. We got to trust Blizzard in this aspect, which I know is a hard thing to do for a lot of you. But the previous dev stream that unleashed all of the seasonal changes on the the seasonal theme with the malignant hearts and all of this stuff the devs stated that they were not going to be making any direct changes at the very start of the season however we have a big asterisk next to that because as the season develops and continues and we start to you know uncover these hearts and really make these classes kind of insane there is going to be changes but we are going to base this off of the changes that we currently have and what the classes are right now in this state today, July 14th at the time of recording. So let's get into my tier list here, guys, and just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So when it comes to what class you should be playing or the best class in Diablo 4, the biggest contributor for all of this is leveling. Leveling is probably the best, you know, kind of thing that we can use to or metric we can use to judge these classes right you're starting brand new yes we have all this knowledge which does help out and then there's other factors whether you're a solo player or you're playing in a group but even without that this is still going to apply to all of it so first things first what do i think the the dog shit or the worst class to play as leveling at the start of the brand new season well one i'm going to go ahead and put it right here that's going to be your necromancer class the necromancer class is super super slow there's no mobility and the only thing that it really has going for it is bone spear which is its best ultimate which it gets at level two okay i don't want to hear anything about about any other builds i know there's a blood nova crazy build that took down lilith but if you notice he did have to use blood mist about twenty thousand times to put all the orbs out in order to rack everything up to hit it with its you know the spirit and all that stuff but bone spear is literally the build and there's no flavor or build variety for the class on top of being super slow so when it comes to leveling although uh Corpse Explosion is very good, and Bone Spear is just the best. I'm putting Necromancer down at the bottom because I just don't think it's a great experience when you're only going to be using Bone Spear. You could probably literally just do Bone Splinters and Bone Spear, Spear and not use a single other skill all the way to 100 at the start of this brand new season. So, Necromancer is dog water. Okay, we should actually change this to dog water. Let's change this to dog water. Sorry, Rod Ferguson, but you got to do something for your class, man. I really want to play minions and I can't. It's amazing how the best uh, builds for Necromancer don't involve minions at all. But that's, that's for another video. So next, certainly not least, okay? Next for me, as much as I love this build in the end game and I'm using it to take down Lilith, is Druid, okay? Druid is going to be down in B tier. The leveling experience for B tier it, or for Druid is just very, very slow. Build is very, very slow. It takes a while to really get going, but maybe at the start of the season, there'll be some really cool things that kind of help um, the class in general. So if you are a player that wants a really, really fast start and you're not somebody who enjoys a slower grind until you can get to like 30, maybe 35, then Druid is definitely not going to be for you. With that said, the damage is still very, very low until you get to the end game, but the build variety is very, very good. So with that said, we're going to move on. Next, I'm going to do Sork, okay? Sork is going to go into A tier. Sork, again, is the most consistent build across the board. Sork is just fundamentally built to fast level. If you really like a fast leveling class and have so much build variety when it comes to just the elements. However, I am going to preface it with this. 
you are going to be using the same defensive skills, but you can use all of those same defensive skills with electric or shock, frost, and fire. But sorcerer across the board is the most consistent and most balanced class in the game, in my opinion. But when it comes to leveling, nothing really beats Chain Lightning. And then if you get Ice Shards, it's absolutely insane. So the experience for the Sorcerer is very, very good. Mobility is through the roof. So uh, Sorcerer is just very, very good overall. So now we're down to our last two classes. I do want to round back around to Druid. I do want to say that like the Druid is much slower. There's not really a lot of mobility when it comes to Druid. I want to I want to preface this because I really enjoy the Druid a lot. And the end game for Druid is very, 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 very good. And there's so much variety when it comes to what you can build with the Druid in the end game. But just leveling up, you're just so hindered by the lack of damage and mobility. So that's why uh, the Druid will be down in the B tier. Now... Up into S tier and SS tier, okay? I think you guys already know where this is going to go, but you guys may be thrown for a loop here if you do not. Now, just like I mentioned with the Sorcerer and the lack of build variety or different ways you can build characters, Barbarian is next, and this is also the class that my community <laughs> came up with. First, we did Druid at the start of the season, and now I'm being... I don't want to say force, but I am playing Barbarian at the start of the season. So unless some changes happen to Barbarian, the leveling experience is actually not too bad. You do lack a little bit of mobility until you start to get your shouts and then you really speed up. But you have really high damage and you are tanky. So Barbarian is actually a pretty solid leveling class when it comes to Diablo 4. However, you are hindered by the fact that you are using every shot in the game. It's similar to the Sorcerer with every single defensive skill in the game, and it just doesn't allow for any build variety when it comes to Barbarian. You're basically doing 3x shout, plus possibly an ultimate, and then whatever your core skill is, then that's your build. So, But with that said, though, the experience for Barbarian is very, very rewarding. You're fast, you do a crap ton of damage, you're super tanky, what's not to love, especially if you're an up-in-the-face kind of you know, player when it comes to the game. And then, of course, guys, we are, already know that SS is Rogue. Rogue is the overall best class when it comes to a brand new experience. And I mean going from level one, okay? Rogue is just super, super good. You're super fast. You do a lot of damage. You get Twisted Blades in Area 2 or Flurry in Area 1. And you just mop through the entire game like it's just, you know, a knife through butter. Rogue is by far has the easiest leveling experience in the game. And I just, you know, you really enjoy it. If you like to be fast and assassinate stuff, then this is definitely the build for you. So, one more roundabout, guys. We're going to go through this one more time just real quick because I don't want anybody to really think that I'm bashing all these classes. All of them are very, very good, and they all serve different merits, but I just have a, a real critique when it comes to just a brand new experience. Again, Necro is super, super slow, even though it has a super high DPS, and it really, really just lacks overall mobility and just build variety. You're basically playing Bone Spear, and that's it. Otherwise, you really do suffer. Okay, Druid, although starts off very, very slow, lacks serious damage and mobility. In the later stages of the game, the leveling experience is actually very, very fun. But it still suffers in the beginning for a brand new player. Let's say that it's going to have to start over, especially casual players. And then we have Sorcerer, most consistent class in the game. Mobility, high damage. Although you do lack a lot of build variety, again, because you're stuck using the same defensive skills as well as just your core skill. Same is said with Barbarian, but overall it has more mobility. It's tankier, so you can take more hits. And you do a lot more damage than the actual Sorcerer does. And not only that, but in the end game, you really fall off with Sorcerer towards the end. Where Barbarian, you don't, and you're clearing you know, 100s pretty easily with Barb. And then, of course, Rogue enough said as much as i kind of dislike rogue that it's just the best overall class in every single category it seems like uh the rogue is just the easiest leveling experience you can have in the game although once you get towards the end game you really suffer because of its uh survivability it's just you know it's just a glass cannon you get hit and you just you know you just you just try not to take a hit so you don't die but yes guys that is my build or my tier list for what you should play or what would be a, br a good class for a new leveling experience at the start of season one so like the video guys comment down below what are your thoughts i know a lot of people 
were back and forth on my previous video, and I do want to stress this enough. Again, guys, this is just my opinion and what I think. Okay, there's going to be a lot of people that are in love with Necromancer and hate that he's down here. There's going to be a lot of people that love Rogue and are just like, yes, we're at we're the best. Every other class sucks because they do and this, that. But please, down in the comments, you know, be kind. Have good criticism. Don't just say, you suck, Warlog. Your, your tier list is wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in Sanctuary for Season 1. See you in the next one. Peace.